This is my husband Mario and this is me, Karina. We are Life with the Sims. If you are new to our YouTube channel, we are currently in the beautiful country of Iceland. We have been here for six days, road tripping South Iceland. Sadly, our trip has come to an end and we are now on our final days before we have to head back home. Karina's still laying in bed right now. This is how we've been dealing here in Iceland. I mean, yeah, it's not that bad. You know, it's not meant for everybody doing this, but if you're able to sacrifice the hotels and all that stay just to go out and venture out in Iceland and go see sites, you know, on the same day as many as you can, it's worth it. So my question to you is, would you do this again? Like go this route now that you've experienced it? I would, but next time in, in the future, I just need to pack lighter. I've used everything that I've packed. Today is COVID testing appointments at 8.45. It's seven, what, seven, eight o'clock right now. I would, the convenience of driving all night to get to your destination is you're just within, you're like 10 minutes under, so. And I really like driving at night because you're, you're kind of hoping to see the northern lights like we had the last night. Thankfully, we made it to campground tonight, today, so we have um, access to amenities. We you can feel that we're not in the um, boonies <laughs> because there could be a different vibe going on. You can tell we're back in the city. This campsite's in the middle of Reykjavik. It's nearby a stadium, and it was just too much lights and too much noise around me, you know, because the past few nights, it was just complete silence, complete darkness, and that was the most peaceful thing. Don't be afraid to go out and just get lost. I feel like that's what we've kind of done all week. We've just gone out there and gotten ourselves lost. We had things planned on what to do for the day, but we never had planned where we would be staying. So every night it was like, uh, okay, we're, we're gonna try here. Just wish the beds were tall of the girl. But that's okay. You know, they do offer the heater, but we actually didn't sleep with the heater. We enjoyed the cold. Yeah. I mean, I'm cold right now, but, ooh. Sorry guys, I have major ojeras. <laughs> Here in Reykjavik, you know, it's our first day here. We used up all our clothes, and so what's a great place than to find a place here that you can actually have a cafe and wash your clothes at the same time. We found one called the Laundromat Cafe, where you can wash your clothes and have a breakfast or sit down and dine in. So, let's go. This quaint cafe offered self-service laundromat services and ability for you to enjoy some good Icelandic breakfast while waiting for your clothes to completely wash and dry. We were completely shocked at how much we spent for two loads. We spent $45 here just on laundry services. So we actually had a, a day, you know, to spend in Reykjavik. But after spending so many, you know, the past previous days out in the southern part of Iceland where there's no really city lights or, trans you know, a lot of noises around you, you, you know, you become isolated to the world of just pure silence and just hearing, just seeing nature, the beauty of nature. When we went to Reykjavik the last night, the first night, you know, sleeping there, it was, I mean, it just felt weird. It just, you know... There, you could still there was too many noises around you and you just didn't feel like you were in Iceland I mean nothing wrong with Reykjavik it's just that you know I guess I just fell in love with the nature out here that I just wanted to continue on doing more nature stuff so unfortunately you know we went to Reykjavik for the church and you know the little strips around there but that was pretty much it I was like uh, I still want to continue on doing nature stuff I'm tired. I think um, Van Laugh is catching up to Mario. He is grumpy as fuck. <laughs> no. 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 
<laughs> Look at that. Nothing makes him laugh right now because that, that's how you know that he's so over it. Because normally he's like, <laughs> no, not. Right now he's like monotone. Did y'all hear that? That whole speech was monotone. Okay. <laughs> As we left Reykjavik, um, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry to inform that we didn't do nothing badass in Reykjavik. Besides, of course, the amazing church. Sadly, we weren't able to visit the tower, but it's okay. So we just decided to kind of make our journey back towards the airport since we leave tomorrow and see what other sites are in between that we can keep capturing. Right now, we're at a geothermal. I think it's a hike. I see some people up in the tip up there. Mm -hmm. It's stank. Smells like ass. Smell like raw eggs. You would record me. It stinks really bad. Which I know this is general thermal. Gosh, it's a stout smell. Like, look at all the smoke. It's penetrating on our clothes. Ow! Fun fact about this geothermal area, located on the Reykjanes Peninsula in southwest Iceland, this area is mostly defined by mud pots, hot springs, and steaming vents. Viejo, ¿te gusta cómo huele? ¿Huele rico? ¿Huele con tus nalgas? Mm -mm, como tuyo. The reason for so much geothermal activity here is because of Iceland tectonic plates. Full day here in Iceland. Feels like we could have done so much more. We have loved this country so much. Just, it has so much to offer. It's definitely, it's a country of ice and fire and I can see why. Cause you get cold and then you get levels of hot and then extreme hot, so. Good morning, everyone. Today's our last day in Iceland and it's pretty sad that we're actually gonna leave because we both fell in love with this place and we felt welcome here, you know, with the people. And, you know, I don't know if you can see Karina still laying in bed. Being love, baby. I'm not ready to go back home yet. I'm trying to get the last fresh air and everything. So, the purest water that you could ever drink is here. I mean, I was drinking water straight from the glacier. That's how good it was. It was refreshing. But I mean, I don't, I don't think we said much about what we've been camping in. So here's an image of our van. As you can see, it's, it's a good size for two people. Now, if it's a three person, it'd be an issue. But yeah, but I mean, see? So during the days while we're traveling around, Korean and I would be, you know, of course in the front in the front seats you know traveling but when it's time to lay down or go to bed stretches out have some covers there's some bags on both sides of the van where you can put our clothes condiments food snacks anything and they provided us with some cocoon covers ah. that's what i call them and some pillows and then also when you go to the back they provide you with a mini fridge you know you can set it to cold or hot with a little portable heater and cooler. You know, here overnight when it gets cold, you could push this button here and it stays warm inside your car without having to turn on your vehicle all night. You know, some of our stuff here, we got some water jugs back here. And here they gave us, you know, all the cooking utensils, stove tops, heaters, little portable heaters to cook your food so you can get keep it warm. We got some stuff up there, up here, so you can store like your small stuff, like your keys, your electronics, your wallets and all that. You know, at the end of the day, whenever your time, you're ready to go to sleep, they give you these right here, these little magnets. Let's see if I can take these out. See? And then just clip on and get them all sides. That way you can have a, your very own privacy. 
I highly recommend if you ever come to Iceland. It's worth the experience to actually You gotta be open-mindedly accept every challenge that comes with van life. That embrace the challenge how we have. Um, is it hard? A little bit. You can tell by her hair. What's wrong with my hair? Don't make me. Man, I'm having a hard time getting out of bed. I got a pack, I know. All this is her stuff. I already done packed all mine. It's all up in here in my space. We couldn't leave Iceland without visiting the Blue Lagoon. This geothermal spa is one of the 25 wonders of the world. Whether you are just chilling in the water or decide to steam in the bath or get some drinks by the bar, the Blue Lagoon is a good spot if you just arrived or departing Iceland. And don't forget to enjoy the free silica mask that comes with your admission. And for you to enjoy it as much as Mario did. Alright, let's see. That's wrapped to our Iceland series. Thank y'all so much for watching and for supporting our channel. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to enjoy making these videos as much as we do. Don't forget to help us continue to grow and subscribe to our channel.